Welcome to Omron's Quick Tip video series. Today we're going to be talking about how to connect an NAHMI to the SysMac NX1P over Ethernet. We will first create a new project in SysMac Studio and we'll call it NX1P to NAHMI. We'll select our device which is going to be an NX1P2 and the specific controller we have is a 9024DT1 which is a 24 point IO unit with PNP outputs and version 1.3. We'll hit create. We will now go to configuration and setup and go to our IO map and we will create our device variables. Now we will set up our Ethernet IP connection by going to controller setup, built-in Ethernet IP, and here is the IP address of our PLC. We will now go to data, global variables, and we are going to highlight any one of these and hit insert from our keyboard and create a new variable and we'll call it HMI input and here I have created three other variables HMI output which is a bool or a single bit and then output which is an array of 16 bits and input which is an array of 16 bits now I'm going to go ahead and create my ladder by going to program 0, section 0, and adding a contact, HMI input, and having that go to an output calling HMI output. I'll now add another parallel output here. and that will be bit IO output bit 0. I'll add another rung by typing R on the keyboard and I'll add a contact here call it input and it's input 0 and you'll notice the parentheses here because it's the very first bit of the array I will now add my output, call it output 0, and it's the first bit of the output array. I'll now go to project, rebuild controller to verify that everything is okay. And there are no errors. If there were errors here, I'd get uh, description of what the errors were. I will now go to controller communication setup Ethernet connection via hub type in my IP address 192.168.250.001 test my Ethernet communications it says OK and I'll click OK now I will go online with the controller, select no, and now I will transfer to the controller. I'll hit execute, yes, and then yes again, and it's completed. I will now go offline and come over and insert HMI NA5 and I will select the 15 inch NA5 and version 107 which is the latest and my HMI 
configuration comes up and I will go to variable mapping and my user variables and you'll notice down here at the bottom HMI input HMI output input and output and here I'm going to give those names in the HMI and I will leave the name the same and what this means is these variables will be updated as often as I tell it to between the PLC and the HMI. I'll go to HMI settings and page 0 will be the very first page to come up when I power up. My Ethernet settings, I'm going to set this to node number 4 and then down at the very bottom here I'm going to turn off the touch input notification and alarm notification so it doesn't make sound when I press the HMI. I'll now go to HMI and go to page 0. I'm now going to go to the toolbox and go to buttons and add a momentary button and then double click on here and I've changed my input text so text uh, for up or when it's off says HMI input off, HMI input on and I've tied this to my variable HMI input. I'll now go back to my toolbox and add a bit lamp and then double click on the bit lamp and change the properties and here I've changed the properties and my expression is when HMI output turns on this lamp will turn green. I'll, I'll now go back to my toolbox and add a couple more inputs and lamp, another input, another lamp. And this momentary button will go to input array variable 0 and then my output lamp will be tied to output array variable 0. I'll now go back to my toolbox and add a button and my button I'm going to now go to events and actions and I will add an event and it's on click and then I will select to add an action and I will say show troubleshooter from my controller my NX1P and I'll show active controller events so if there's a problem with my controller I'm now easily going to be able to troubleshoot what that is. I'll now go to project build HMI and I'll look for any problems and there's no warning so I'm good I'll go to HMI communication setup and I've attached a USB A to B cable and I'm going to test my USB connection and it tests OK. I'll now hit OK. I'll now go online with my NA and I'll synchronize and I'll transfer to device and hit close. I can now test my PLC and HMI together. I'll go back to my controller and I'll go to my ladder and go online 
make this a little bit bigger. And I'll bring up my HMI. And when I turn on HMI input, you can see the output lamp turn on and also on the PLC ladder. And then same with the array variables. I'll now go to Troubleshooter. And under Active Events, I can see that my status is normal. And then I will exit out of here. And that is how to connect an NX1P to the NA.